Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is uh, practice, pro uh, practice problem first of this number theory series. This is basically just the implementation of previous lecture. In previous lecture, we have seen that how we can test in square root n time that the given number is a prime number or not. So in this lecture, we are just going to implement that. The question is primality test and is taken from Code Chef. So the problem is very easy. You are given t test cases. In each test case, you are given a number and you have to tell whether the number is prime number or not. As you can see, 23 and 13 are prime numbers. So we have printed yes. Otherwise, 20 and 1000 are not prime numbers. So we have printed no. And then 99,991 is a prime number. So we have printed yes again. So let's just start code, coding. So we define a function which returns bool true if the given number is prime number false otherwise so if n is 1 of course n is not prime number so we return false otherwise as you have seen in the lectures we start from 2 and then run till square root of n and then check whether number i is divisible number n is divisible by i or not if it is divisible by i then it cannot be a prime number hence we would return false otherwise if after running or after testing for all number from 2 to square root of n if no number is dividing n then it have to be a prime number and hence we would return true from here now in the main function we take t and then n Sorry. Each time we read n and check if n is a prime number or not. If it is a prime number, we would print, print of course, yes. Else, we would print no. So, this is the whole code. First, we will check whether the given number is 1 or not. If 1, then it cannot be prime, so we are returning false. Otherwise, as I've already told you in the lectures, we start from 2 to till square root of n and check whether n is divis uh, divisible by any of the numbers. If it is not divisible by any numbers, if it is divisible by any number, then it is a composite number and hence we will return false. Otherwise, if it is not divisible by any of the number from 2 to square root of n then it must be a prime number and hence we are returning true from here so let's test this for the given test case the answer is yes yes no no yes as you can see yes yes no no yes so let's submit this problem it would take a little bit of time so just wait 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 yep so uh, we have solved this problem or basically we have implemented the algorithm that we have studied in the previous lecture so this is how you solve the problem and in the description i'll also give you one or two problems which you can try yourself and see whether you have learned primality test by yourself or not so thank you guys for watching and yeah keep coding thank you